Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the demo for uh, Atypical Advantage LXP system. And today we'll see how to onboard on the platform. Uh, so first, uh, you all will be receiving an invite link. And it will be from support at skillscarma.com. And this is the email that you would get with the subject line, join the karma today. So the email looks something like this. And uh, it has a hyperlink in that uh, get start button. So you just have to click here and this page would open up and this is the registration page where you'll have to set the password first. Now to set the password, here are a couple of uh, instructions given that it should have at least eight characters, at least one number, uh, at least one capital letter and one special character as well. Okay. So considering all these points, let's set up a password. Once you're done, you press continue to log in. Now you'll have to log in with your uh, registered email ID in which you've received the invite mail. You put in your password and you press continue. So now we've entered the onboarding process and uh, it's a three-step process first you'll have to fill in your personal details then you'll have to add uh, your interest areas because there are a lot of courses associated to certain interest areas and accordingly you can group um, or you can choose what you want to see on the platform and lastly you'll have to choose your career goal uh, these two steps are skippable uh, in case you don't have a clarity on which interest areas to choose, what career goal you'll have to choose, then you can skip these two steps as well. But first, we'll have to put in our basic details. So uh, your name would already be there. Uh, your email uh, is already mentioned over here. Now, designation, you can keep it blank and click on Save and Proceed. Now, these are various interest areas you can choose from. So let's say, for example, I choose the first one, 3D modeling and design. And I save and proceed. Uh, this is the third page, which talks about your career goal, like whether you want to upskill in your current domain or reskill in a new domain. So if there is no clarity, no worries, you can skip this step. Now, once you reach to the uh, main uh, page, and uh, this is the learner dashboard that is in front of you. Now, the first page itself shows you a couple of dashboards pertaining to you know your active assignments leaderboard rank completed learning path so on and so forth and let's go one by one on how you would interact with the platform so the first step is how how to search for any type of courses on this platform so there are two options one is through browse so once you press browse here are different content providers you can see so you can choose any course from any provider and uh, these courses are categorized into domains and various subdomains. Uh, so you can, let's say, for example, uh, I want to access courses from Class Central. I choose Design, 3D, and Animation. So here is a channel that opens up. And here are multiple courses pertaining to this uh, domain and subdomain. But in case you don't have clarity on you know, which domain or subdomain your course would belong to, so you can use the search option as well. This is a keyword play where you can put in any keyword and search for your relevant topics. So let's say I want to look for course in Excel. So you see whatever courses are associated with Excel pops up in this search window. Now I have 88 search results. Again, as an end user, uh, it will be difficult for me to go through each of the courses, uh, you know, turn pages and look for the right one uh, from where I should start with. So we have multiple filters available where you can, you know, narrow down your search. You can filter it via providers. You can filter it via the type of content you want to access. Uh, further filtration is available in terms of duration and expertise level as well. Okay, so once you use all the filters, you can narrow down your search. 
Now let's go through how learning dashboard looks like and how you can navigate through different areas in the system. Active assignments are mandatory assignments which will be pushed to you via an admin. Um, though the platform has more than 7,000 to 8,000 plus courses uh, and everything has been uh, made accessible for the users. However, if there are any mandatory programs that are being pushed to you uh, in a focused kind of a journey, so that's where you'll have to um, click on active assignments. So whenever you'll have an active assignment, you'll get an email notification. Also, you can refer to this bell icon where uh, you know all the notification pops up. Um, and whenever an assignment is pushed to you, the numbers also get updated over here. Moving on to the next part, completed learning paths. Now, what are learning paths? Learning paths are nothing but a uh, playlist. So just like YouTube, uh, YouTube has a plethora of multiple videos. However, if you want to, uh, you know, save certain videos or create your own playlist, so you can do that as well. So to create a playlist, you go to my learnings, you click on learning path. Here you can create your own learning paths pertaining to uh, you know a certain topic or a certain job role, so on and so forth. Um, you can put in the learning path name. If you want to keep it private, this learning path will be visible only to you. If you keep it public, anyone in this particular system would be able to see your playlist as well. You can put in a description, you can add a cover image, and here is where you search for courses and add one by one. Now, once this is done, you create your own learning path. And back to the dashboard, you have to click on the logo, which will take you to the home page. Uh, next part is your leaderboard rank. Now, this is a social learning element and a gamification element, you can say. Once you click here, you can see uh, where your rank is. Now, this rank is defined basis two parameters. One is um, the number of courses you've completed and uh, also how many learning hours you've spent uh, on the system. So these two parameters defines your rank in this particular leaderboard. Okay, uh, moving back, this is pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, the number of courses you complete, well, uh, the number will get updated in this particular section. The next is uh, learning providers. Now, this is a shortcut uh, for you know accessing any provider's content exclusively. Either you can do through browse or you can directly click on any of the uh, providers. So let's say I click on Udemy. I'll see all these domains which are associated to Udemy. And if I click on engineering, these are its uh, further subdomains. And this is where I can access these courses. Okay, so let's go back to the home page. Um, on the right side, you see trending topics last month. So basis, the consumption that happens in the system, uh, the system would pick, um, you know, the most uh, commonly accessed um, courses and it will populate it and give you a graphical representation of it. Basically, this will help you understand what other people are also going through. So you can also, you know, access those courses. Uh, moving down, now let's see what these carousals talk about. Now, uh, there is an AI recommendation engine that works behind. So base is the interest area that you choose. So um, in the onboarding process, we saw that I chose 3D modeling and design. So according to I'm getting these courses, which are associated with this particular interest areas. Okay, now you can further edit it from here as well. You can choose any other interest areas and the same will get updated. Let's say I choose 3D modeling and animation. And if I click here, you will see that courses have been updated, which are associated with 3D modeling and animation. Okay, now moving down, um, here is your organization library. So any courses which is inside a typical platform, private limited, all these courses gets populated in this section. Okay, and uh, on top, we saw the trending topics. Now you will see the trending content pertaining to those topics on a course level. So you can go through it and can access any of the courses from here itself. And any new content that gets added in the system, um, you will have an update in the last browser, 
where it talks newly uh, talks about newly added content. So you can keep checking this particular carousel to see if at all there are any new subject or new courses uh, added to the system. Okay, now um, let's come to profile settings. So this is where you can access your profile settings also. When you click on uh, your profile section, you can go to profile settings. You can change your personal info. You can change your goals. You can change your interest areas at any point of time. And you can put in your uh, photograph also over here as an avatar. And um, uh, so name, email, employee ID, uh, designation. So all these things, you can leave it blank. So no need to populate these areas in case necessary. Uh, if, if at all it is necessary, you can put in those details and save it. And the same will get updated in the system. OK. Um, to access the learning plan, so learning plan is also called as assignments. So whatever uh, mandatory assignments are being pushed to you, so you can access it through here as well by clicking on the profile section and clicking on my learning plan. Or you can click directly on active assignments and the same page would open up. So there are two ways to move to this particular page. Now, any user can log into the platform. This is a learner dashboard. Uh, they can click on the active assignments and see what has been assigned to them. So this demo 101 has been assigned and uh, you can see your progress over here. If you want to access the assignment, you click on this and here you will be able to see the course. So you don't have to search for the course separately anywhere. You can just click on the assignment section and this is where you will be able to see what all courses has been assigned to you and you can access directly from here and you can start the course. And uh, this particular page will also show your progress, like what's the percentage completion you have done so far. So until and unless it's 100, uh, the assignment won't get marked as complete. So you can easily track your completion also over here. Okay, so this is a basic demonstration on how you get onboarded on the platform and how you can uh, navigate through different uh, features. You can create your own learning path. You can uh, search for courses via multiple ways through browse or through search option over here. Uh, you can make use of these different carousals. You can change your interest areas. You can access your organization library as a shortcut over here. You can see what other people are learning and can access those courses as well. And you will have an access to whatever new content is being added in the system. Okay, so with that, um, I wish you all the best and uh, explore the platform. And uh, if you have any queries, uh, we'll be definitely there to support you. Thank you.